They're a nation with vaccines in abundance. But that hasn't stopped COVID-19 cases soaring in the US. Hospitals are seeing a resurgence in patients, particularly among the unvaccinated. We're seeing the younger patients, 30, 40, 50 year old, and they're suffering, you know, they're hungry for oxygen and they're dying. Around 52% of the population were fully immunized as of Wednesday. However, in southern and conservative states, vaccination rates have slowed. In Florida, hospitalizations are the highest of any state. And to encourage the jab, companies nationwide have tightened rules for their staff. They're under threat and they know they're under threat. They do not want to have to close again. If what it takes to avoid closure is a vaccine mandate, they'll go. Currently, several American companies have imposed obligatory jabs for employees, including Disney and Amtrak. And despite criticizing the vaccine on air, Fox News requires their America's staff to disclose their vaccine status today. or wear a mask inside. Some of the largest hospitals are even making the vaccine mandatory for healthcare workers, including employees working from home. Cases are also rising in schools, pushing forward a debate on whether to immunize children. And the current minimum age for a dose is 12 years old. The US has more than 640,000 deaths from COVID-19, the highest figures worldwide.